Hello, hello, hello! Today you are joining me for an unboxing of the July Illumicrate box, which I am very excited to get stuck into. I love the yellow of these boxes, it's happy, it's jolly. I am a rep for Illumicrate, so if you would like to get 5% off the three to six month subscription plans that you can find, you can use Books Nest 5 to get that discount. I'll link that down below as well. That is 5% off with Books Nest 5. So, shall we? get into this box and uh, reveal the theme and see what's inside. Got my trusty scissors. The theme for July is We Are The Resistance. So I I don't know what I'm gonna be expecting from this. I can't remember if I know what the book is or not. I like to go into these things surprised. So I'm gonna discard that. Thing one is this mysterious shaped box. <gasps> yes, okay. I have the one of these that Illumicrate did a while ago and loved it. It's my pen pot and I love it very much. Celestial Observation Stars, Planets and Nebulas. Isn't that cute? I love it. It's a little ceramic pen pot. Put your pens in there. I always use it as like a bookmark pot. I love that the back is different. A comprehensive guide to viewing the galaxy and unlocking the secrets of the stars. I really like these kind of items because this is something I'm actually definitely going to use. Very much a fan. Okay, this is unusual for a book subscription box. We have a pair of sunglasses. Say rebel scum on the side of them. What do we think? Do I look like rebel scum? <laughs> okay, cool. All right, we can always do with more sunglasses. I like keeping a pair in my car. Oh, I can see a bit of something. Is, it, is there two books in there? There's two books. Wait, no, this is a notebook. Okay. This is a notebook that says, never allow yourself to believe you should be silent. And that is a quote from Samantha Shannon. And there is, who is this on the front? Is it bad that I don't know who's on the front? Ah, <laughs> I'll have a look on the spoiler, spoiler card in a little bit. Is it lined or is it plain? It's a plain notebook. I like having these kind of things lying around as well. This is very stationary themed so far. We've got a little key ring. Hang on, let me take it out for you. I love the rose gold color. This is a little tiny building saying, hang on, I've not got my glasses on, Barons, Books and Baubles. I don't know if it's gonna be too small. Can you see it? It's cute. I really like that that's on a rose gold keychain. That is a win. Then we have got this card set, which I'm going to undo for you, hang on. So these are from em An Ember in the Ashes, which I have not read, but the art on these is kind of making me want to read it. <laughs> Particularly her, who's she, hang on. Leia, is that her name? She looks very cool. So hang on, there's, there's another guy, who's he? Marcus, Helen, Helen, Helene, Helen. She looks badass. And Elias. I like the art on these. I will tell you where everything's come from and who's designed it once I have finished unboxing. We've got a little badge that again, I'm completely clueless about. <laughs> I think this is, is it more sci-fi themed box? I'm not really sure. I'll let you know in a minute. But we have got the book. Ooh, sprayed edges are good guys. Hang on, I'm gonna take it out of its cellophane wrapper thing to show you. Okay, pink, pink. If people do not like sprayed edges, I don't get it. Like, they're just like, you get a stunning cover on the front and then you get the pink edges. Anyway, the actual book is Seven Devils by Elizabeth May and Laura Lamb. The front of it says, if you want to resist, you have to rebel. So that would make sense with the kind of rebel theme coming on in this book. I have actually heard of this because I was sent a copy of the original hardcover from the publishers, which is a blue color. And I think it's sci-fi based, hang on. Signed book plate with the matching theme colors, pink and purple. I very much enjoy the colors of this one versus the blue one. Oh, the blurb is big. Okay, right. I'm gonna read you the blurb. <laughs> when loyalty to the Empire is programmed from birth, resistance is futile until now. After Eris faked her death, she thought she had left her old life as, a prince, as Princess Discordia, heir to the galaxy's most ruth ruthless empire behind. Can't read. But joining the Novatean Nova resistance, an organization opposed to the Empire's voracious expansion, throws her right back into the fray. Resistance fighter pilot Klo has been given a mission. Infiltrate an Empire spaceship, ferrying deadly cargo to gain vital intelligence. A task made all the more difficult when she's forced to partner with an old enemy, Princess Discordia herself, Eris. They discover more than they bargained for on the ship, fugitives with first-hand knowledge of the Empire's inner workings. With this information, these women might just bring the Empire to its knees. But the clock is ticking. Eris's brother, Damocles? Damocles? 
New heir to the throne plans to disrupt a peace summit with the only remaining free alien people, ensuring the Empire's total domination. Unless this band of unlikely rebels stops him, millions will die. Wow. So yes, it is a sci-fi. It sounds pretty action-packed. Sounds like there's a decent array of characters in there. Shall we look under the dust jacket? What we got under? Okay, we got black. I was, I was kind of half thinking it might be pink, but I really, really like the colors on this cover. And I don't have too many books with this color, actually. All my hardbacks are pretty much black spines, so this will make a nice addition and that is pretty. So that was the July Illumicrate We Are The Resistance. I'm gonna now show you each of the items closer up and tell you who designed slash created each one and where they were inspired by because I have been rubbish at telling that from this box so far. So we had the Celestial Observations Ceramic Pot, which is designed by Chatty Nora at Chatty Nora. And I personally would use this as a um, pencil pot type thing, but you can also use it to hold your bookmarks in, or you could use it as like a kitchen utensil pot for shorter utensils. Personally, this is my favorite item in the box because I use my other one a lot. So this is definitely appreciated and when I move, will be very useful. <laughs> then there's Baron Books and Baubles Keyring with the artwork from Felfira Moon Designs at Felfira Moon Designs on social media. And I don't know if this one's based on a specific book or whether there's something I'm missing, whether it's based on this book. I'm not sure, it doesn't say down below it's based on a specific book, but it does say carry around Baron and Max base of operations with you on this hand, hand of hearing. I can't talk today, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, then we've got the bone season notebook. Okay, it was the bone season. I thought it was probably the bone season rather than the Priory because I would have remembered more from Priory. But this is designed by Carly AF, who is at carlydraws.illustrations and this is featuring Paige and Jackson. The Rebel Scum Sunglasses are designed by Hey Atlas Creative, who is at Hey Atlas Creative. Be proud of your rebel status and look wicked cool with these pair of sunnies. <laughs> then we've got the Ember and the Ashes character card set and the artwork is by Michaela Cassiato, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, at Michaela Cassiato on social media. And these are some gorgeous character cards from one of our favorite series about rebellion. And the book was Seven Devils by Laura Lamb and Elizabeth May. This is the special Illumicra edition with signed book plates, exclusive cover and exclusive sprayed edges, which are a beautiful pink color. So that was the July Illumicra box. Again, if you would like to get a discount code of 5%, you can use Books Nest 5 at checkout on the three to six month plan, subscription plans. And this is always a great box. I love Illumicra boxes. I love the effort they put into their items, such as this ceramic thing like this one because it's a larger item you can see the detail that's put onto it and things and yeah I, I love these kind of items being included in this box so that was the box that was much more of a sci-fi theme box and the theme was we are the resistance yay next month's box is identity crisis themed and the book is a science fiction debut set in a world where the secret of traveling to parallel universes has been discovered but you can only travel to worlds where you're already dead and it's about a girl who's dead in all eight of them. <laughs> okay, the books, that, or the fandoms that are inspiring this box for August is The Illuminae Files, We Hunt the Flames, Mistborn, The Lunar Chronicles, and Percy Jackson. I'm excited, that sounds like it's gonna be a really good box. There's a couple more bits of info on the back there, but you can also check that out on Illuminate's website. Thank you very much Illumicrate for sending me through this box and for allowing me to unbox it to show everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite item was or if you're looking forward to next month's box as well. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. But for now, keep smiling and stay positive.